Wow, so Molin closes under 12 cents. Guys, we gotta talk about what the charts are telling us and could this potentially go down below nine cents? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, go ahead and like this video. I would truly appreciate that. I've been analyzing the charts and I wanna show you exactly what I'm looking at so it can help you understand where our next move is in the short term, but also in the long term and why I'm still optimistic about Molin stock. Think about subscribing if you're brand new to the channel. We talk about Molin every single day. With that being said, let's get right into the charts. All right, so looking at the charts right now, let's start with the bottom right here, the stochastic. Okay, so you guys can see that we have just been trading sideways as we've been coming down, as the stock price has been coming down, but the stochastic is at, is at all time lows and it's wanting to go up. Right, every time it's gone up in the past, every time it started to curl, we start to run on a massive run. Obviously, right now we haven't ran, we haven't even had days to be able to sell and take any profits because they have been shorting this, they have been diluting this stock, and it has not been fun. Okay, I'm here with you guys, I understand the frustrations, I see it online, but we have to really analyze. Where is the bottom for this stock? If they're gonna continue to short, if they're gonna continue to dilute, where is the bottom? Because Molin has amazing news. We have great partnerships, we have assets, we have a lot of potential, a lot of things happening, especially at the end of March, and today's March 22nd. So we have Randy Marion coming up, we have Menzies coming up, we have so many things coming up. We'll probably get updates for IGO and how that's doing in Europe. There has to be something to give here soon. The problem is dilution and shorting. Okay, so we've been getting some great news over the last couple weeks, but it doesn't matter because they dilute into it, they short into it, and they just don't care. So right now, the worst case scenario that I'm seeing for Mullen is right here at just under nine cents. So it's exactly eight eight cents, basically almost nine cents. Okay. But I do not think we're going to get there. I think if we do drop lower, I think our bottom is around 10 and a half cents, 10 and a half cents to about just over 11 cents. So I think that is going to be our bottom. A couple reasons why I think this is our bottom. First of all, let's talk about the support we had today. It was looking like pretty strong support. It was at 12 and a half cents but we had a huge red candle, just completely destroy it on the one hour chart, and that's why we crashed below 12 cents today. So we broke that support of 12 and a half cents, which means I think we're gonna go lower. Now we have to look at the Fibonacci's, right? So if you look right here, the first zone that I have would be about 11, 11, basically, 11.10, so just above 11 cents that could potentially be a bottom. The reason I think we're going to touch this area is that is a important part is also touching our wedge right here. These blue lines that I've drawn down, it would be touching our wedge, which could initiate bullish momentum to the upside. The RSI is creating positive divergence right now. It's been creating positive divergence. If you look at the white lines way over there. Okay. So this is a massive free fall basically, but we're getting to the last point for Mullen, okay? And that's with us touching the wedge, the RSI creating positive divergence, the stochastic curling up at the bottoms right now. Something has to give. Now, fair warning, of course, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. The worst case scenario could be just under nine cents. And that would be a full retracement of the Fibonacci, okay? And then from there, we could start to move up. Now, I don't think that's gonna happen. I do not think we're gonna break this wedge. I think this is going to be bullish for us in the long run. But honestly, this week will tell a lot. Next week will tell a lot. Randy Marion will tell a lot with what happens with that news. Menzies will tell a lot. There's a lot of things at play right now for Mullen's success in the short term and in the long term. But let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think this is accurate information? Are you also seeing the charts how I'm seeing this? Is this helpful to you? I hope it is. I appreciate all the feedback that I get usually on these videos. Hopefully we get a turnaround here soon. The charts are wanting it to turn around. The news is wanting us to turn around. 
It's just the shorting and the diluting that is not our friend right now. But maybe David has something planned up his sleeve and it's time for this stock to freaking explode and go to the upside like it has in the past. Have a good day, guys. Enjoy your evening. We'll see you on the next one.